Okay, come to you to talk about sin, sex, and race. So this is the article. This is from a 1952 Jet Magazine, 1952. Okay, at page five, the story, there you go, a story about this man who was out, who was out, was a white man in 1952, out from Earlham College in Indianapolis, Indiana. Of course, he wanted to marry this black senior. She was 22, he was about the same age. And he was out. This is 1952, I'm going all the way back there, okay? And that was a black woman and this white man. She wanted to marry him, he wanted to marry her. Okay, and now we can go another story. Okay. Okay, this other story about the German Brown Tribune. You all, 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 almost always hear about the German Brown Tribune. Now, this story on page 15 is that they were having a hard time in the U.S. for the mulattoes from Germany. There's a uh, black servicemen who went to Germany during the war. They were about 3,000 mulattoes which they left behind with the, uh, with the German women. And they had a time to peace those children. And now you get this other story, page 12, about Serenthi Karma from, from uh, uh, Banshuna Land, Banshuna Land, he was out from his country. That's him. He was out from his country because he married this English woman. So he was the king of the This was 1952, before they even had independence. So he was out. And now, let's get to page eight. Where there's a white book now in 1952. There's a white woman who said the black man raped her. The case was dropped. 1952 now, the case was dropped because they found out that she was a willing person voluntarily having sex with the, a black man, but she lied and said he raped her because she was afraid, because she was married. And so that was a cover-up, 1952, that goes all the way back. See? That goes all the way back. <laughs> so it's not anything new that's happening. And now, let's go about this, this shame page 22, where this white man raped this 18-year-old Negro mother. A white man raped her. A 
but they had a black, 16-year-old black youth to hold her down while a white man raped her. The 21-year-old white man raped this black Negro mother, but the 16-year-old Negro youth held her down. That's a shamelessness of black males even then. To hold her, the Negro mother down so a white man could rape her. Okay, and now this article from Ebony, 1962, Ebony article on miscegenation. This article on miscegenation. by Lerone Bennett, and this is Miscegenation in America. This is part one. There's so much to talk about, so much, but I'm going to start with Miscegenation. There's other artic articles I want to speak on. But let's start with this, Sin, Sex, Race. And he states this, the three words took deep roots, intertwined and became one in the Puritan psyche. In a famous sermon preached at White Castle, at White Castle in 1609 for Virginia bound planters and adventurers, the minister fused the words in a stern admonition against miscegenation. And notice that 1609, that was before 1619. From Genesis, he summoned the figure of Abraham who left his country and his father's house and migrated to a land God had prepared for his seed. Aprons crossed the right, the preacher said, must keep to themselves. They may not marry nor give in marriage to the heathen that are uncircumcised. The breaking of this rule may break the neck of all good successes of this voyage. Whereas by keeping the fear of God, the planters in short time by the blessing of God may grow into a nation formidable to all the enemies of Christ. It was easier said than done. And he said that in 1609 before 1619. And that's what we have to do. Keep to ourselves to be a powerful nation. For us to be a powerful nation, because Almighty hate for us to mix our seed with those others. But that is just part one. Part two, tomorrow.